I'm lying on Boot Hill in Republic, Washington now, just a few blocks away from the Stone Rose Center. The fossil site's right here in town, so you just get your bag of digging tools and walk up the street through town, up to the edge of town, and here's Boot Hill. And I'm lying in an Eocene lake bed. It looks like a hill full of rock, but really what it is is the remains of what used to be a lake. And in all lakes, mud settles to the bottom and makes layers and layers and layers of mud. Eventually, if the lake's lucky enough to get buried even deeper, that mud will be squished into mud stone. And that's what we have here. It's a hill made of rock that's made of mud. And the rock settled to the bottom, so the mud settled to the bottom of the lake about 50 million years ago. So I'm in a 50 million year old lake. And what I'm trying to do is figure out what that lake was like. And the way you do that is look at the layers. So the layers of shale or mud rock are piled up neatly here. You can see they're different from each other. Some of them are darker, some of them are lighter. And that tells you about what was happening in the lake. Maybe there was more sediment being washed into the lake. Maybe a volcano erupted nearby and shed volcanic ash into the lake. So all of that is the study of the layers, studying the layers. It's just like that stack of pancakes I ate the other day at the restaurant. These are layers of rock that used to be layers of sediment. And to study these things, you have to clean them off and measure them carefully, measure and describe each layer. The ones on the lower part are older than the ones on the topper part. That's just a simple law of superposition. These were here first, these came next, these came next. But what I'm interested in is finding out is how exactly old are these lake beds? Are they 50 million years old? Are they 49.5 million years old? The way I'm going to do that is to take a sample of this lake bed sediment and look for little tiny crystals of zircon that were formed in volcanoes that were erupting at the time. And those crystals will allow me to use uranium, lead, radiometric dating. And with luck, I can get a precise age for this Republic Lake. So we can actually ask the question, exactly how old are those fossils that you find in Republic? Right now, we say they're about 50 million years old. And that's based on a radiometric date that was got in this region some years ago. But we have not yet dated this exact hill. And if you want to know exactly how old these fossils are, you need to date this hill. They say the data's in the strata, that's all you need.